This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist here. We're going to talk about running midline triple option in eight-man and nine-man football against a gap six run. Here's what's interesting, because you don't have a place at A back in eight-man, you do in nine-man. So in eight-man, the end has to block the run support. But the thing is, if this guy flies into the toward the ball, and this guy goes out, the end takes three flat steps, steps at 45 degrees, puts his left knee through the crotch of the five technique. He'll put his left hand to the stomach and four inch northbound steps from there. Now, if this guy goes out and this guy stays in, he'll do the same thing to him. So if he goes in and he goes out, that's what's called a three-two exchange. And you got to practice that situation in eight and nine man football. But in eight man, you have to do it with your end. The rest of it is the center and the guard are going to ace the A gap player. They're going to get their near knee in the crotch, near hand to the stomach, four inch northbound steps. Backside guard's going to block the spine of the center. Backside end's going to block the spine of the backside guard. Then you got your triple option from there. Quarterback's going to take the snap, jump back, point the ball. The B-back's going to sprint through the ball, sprint through the playside hip of the guard, and sprint through the end zone. And if number one takes the B-back, quarterback's going to reseed the ball. He's going to go off-end, turn up, and score. And if number two can tackle him, he stops his feet, flicks the ball to the A coming around. Don't overcoach this. Just when the quarterback pulls the ball, if an unblocked defender comes to him, he's got to get rid of the ball. That's what he does. He scores on less. He's not looking to pitch. He's looking to score on less. I cannot emphasize that enough to you. The great Paul Johnson taught me well. You score on less. Number two can tackle you. If so, hit the brakes and flick the ball. Nine man, it's the exact same thing, except now the A-backs doing what the end did in eight-man football. So he'll take three five step steps at 45 degrees and block whoever shows in the C-gap. Everything's the same, but now the end will veer inside to the mic. Now, here's a question, or at least I'll answer it for you. If this guy flies inside toward the dive and he gets in the end's path, well, then the end would block him because there's nowhere for the mic to go anyway. And he cancels himself and you get a two-for-one deal. Everything else is the same. So... The A-back is the one who will block the run support in nine-man. The end will do it in eight-man because you don't have a play side A-back. But the beauty is you have one last player in eight-man. So it naturally changes everything on midline triple because of the one extra player and the one lack thereof for the defense. That's the beauty of the triple option offense in eight-man and nine-man football. So... Definitely a situation you got to practice. You got to practice against three, two exchanges in eight man, nine man, 11 man football. If I did 12 man camps, like some schools in Canada do, we'd be practicing that as well. That's a whole story within itself. So this is midline triple versus a gap six in eight man and nine man football. Coaches, if you want to win big in 2024, now's the time to pick up the phone and give me a call. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com to learn about the academy and the camps. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com slash testimonials to read all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.